<laughs> Did you hear? There is no vaccine necessary anymore to travel to Kenya. Good morning! <laughs> so today a bit a different trip. As you see I'm here with a motorbike and of course I can't ride myself so there's someone here <laughs> riding with us and our local guide for today and we are at a I don't know how to call it. Keyword? I thought I'm going to take you on a trip and I'm explaining you the newest Kenya entry requirements because so many of you guys keep on asking me about the entry requirements. I know they have recently changed and there was a big fake, me or not really fake messages, also myself, let's say confusing messages from the health ministry and now the KCIA has finally published the new Kenya entry requirements. So I'm going to talk about that here and while we are on a trip are you seeing me yes we see you okay Jumbo. my name is Jumbo. Fat my name is fatma a ranger of maluganje elephant sanctuary but now here this is the entrance of maluganje chitanze waterfall from here to chitanze waterfall it's around two kilometers we are just we are, we are walking Walking. Yeah. <laughs> so as you know that Mwaluganja Elephant Sanctuary is a conservation. We are inside here we have wet animals like water bugs, buffaloes, elephants, baboons and giraffes. Are here. Ah no giraffes. Aww. So we have an, we have another entrance which is main gate along the road of Kinango. Where we when we are interested to go for a park for a game drive. But here, because the road is not good, we are just going for a falls only. So, the falls, it is also a shrine, Kaya, where community of the Digo and Duruma, they are always coming here for worshipping. Guys, are you waiting for me? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this guy makes me work out in the morning and then hike in the afternoon. <laughs> So guys, I know now why the guide asked me if I be good in walking. <laughs> it's more not a walk, it's more a hike. Anyway, to the first thing, the first question I get asked all the time. Yes, you still need to be woo, you still need to be vaccinated to travel into Kenya. They have changed the requirements, but the only thing they have changed is that if you are fully vaccinated, that you don't need to do a PCR test anymore. So at least that one, you're good to go. But if you're not yet vaccinated, you still have to go for your shot or you wait until Kenya is changing the rules. And one thing they always ask me too, you might wonder what means being fully vaccinated. So only two shots are enough. Or if you have the one which only needs one shot, then that is okay. Now look at this, guys. It's okay. I will manage. <laughs> but you don't need any booster. <laughs> but you don't need a booster shot. Like we don't have the, this kind of boosters in Kenya necessary uh, to travel in. Okay. Next tips. See you in a few. Our guide told us there are elephants here. But today, because of the heat, I don't think we will see them because if you come at lunchtime, like right now, it's around lunchtime. Animals are like humans. Woo! Now my phone is hanging. Back. <laughs> Animals are also like human beings. If it's too hot, they just hide. So what is this? Ah, oh, this is the elephants. You see, guys? Poop. Yes. I found elephant poop, but I didn't yet find elephants. Okay, let's go looking for them then. <laughs> Elephant, wake up! What a what? Oh, she just said maybe she has seen some buffaloes. Let's go back. Ah. The black ones. Up there, far, far away. Where? Where there's baobab, the green baobab. Down. 
some animals. Okay, but maybe no buffaloes, but they're maybe dark stones. Like, they're dark like <laughs> buffalo. They're dark like buffaloes. Yeah. Very. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> so many butterflies. Woo! Butterflies. Wow. Oh. There's something, uh, something new. Uh, hmm? A lot of butterflies. Look. Oh. Wow. We are now at Chisanze waterfall. But we have other side, in my left side. We are not allowed to make photo because it's a worshipping area. The community of Digo and the Duruma are coming here for worshipping. So it's a Kaya shrine area. Okay. Okay. No picture for you guys that side as it's for worshipping. And not allowed for us to make pictures. But have you seen all the butterflies around? And I think it's just like so amazing that... I mean it's a spiritual a high energy point and you can see because there's so much life going on, the butterflies. Now here, down here, the waterfall, just here. Beautiful. You see, there is some... The red one. It's a spiritual area. So the community of Digo and the Duruma, they are believing when they have difficult problems and they're coming here for worship, so the problem, they can be moved away. <laughs> I make it, I make it, I'm okay, I'm okay guys. <sighs> it's another way of learning how to film and vlog while traveling guys. Good. <laughs> so, whew, we made it to the waterfall. You can see him down here. <laughs> He's already in. I am going there in a minute, but what I want to share with you is, is continue sharing the requirements and I have them on my phone here and to be sure that you guys don't think, okay, how can I be sure this whatever she's saying is true, I'll be linking down the requirements in the free Kenya travel checklist. This is the official links, everything is there plus everything you need to enter to Kenya, like apart from the Kenya entry requirements, for example, you need to have your A-Visa. Um, then there are other things like about your vaccinations and other things to pack and to organize and the credit cards and this kind of thing. So find the link down in the description and you can get it. But let me check what is necessary as well. So I mentioned the one who are vaccinated, like everyone has to be fully vaccinated. So there are some exemptions, like if you have, it's written here, a medical condition. Um, but of course, it has to be proven by a medical, practi huh? medical practitioner. My English, you know, guys. Anyway, <laughs> number two. The second exemption is if you had recently COVID, and that is the previous 90 days, then you don't need to have the vaccine. Yeah. And then if you come unvaccinated, then you have to do the PCR test 72 hours in advance and on arrival on top, an antigen rapid test on your own cost of course yeah so apart from this because the vaccination is not the only requirement you need i already mentioned you also need an a visa and this is something which has changed like now exactly a year ago a year like two months where you cannot get a visa on arrival anymore so please check out your a visa apply for it like two weeks one weeks in advance usually it's been procedured like after two days you should have it and one question I always get asked when it's about the A-Visa is that they don't find the A-Visa. So the moment you have applied for it, go back to your dashboard. They're not going to send you an email. Go check your dashboard and then you find your A-Visa there. Woo! <laughs> Seeing someone is enjoying his shower. So, <laughs> apart from that, another change they did here in Kenya is that you have to as well upload your vaccination. So they don't accept any papers anymore. So what it means, 
you have to go to Global Heaven, all that, the official links, you find them in the Kenya Travel Checklist, in the link down below. So you have to apply this online on this web page and then you will get a QR code sent. Print that QR code, bring it to the airport and they will scan it at the airport with your A-Visa together. And the last step you have to do as well before you enter to Kenya, but this is like shortly before when you have checked on online to reserve your flight ticket. You as well need to go and get your international health form filled out. Also that links, everything is here. You find it, just check out the link below. And the only thing you have to consider is that you need your airline, like your seat ticket number. So you cannot fill out that link in advance, like a week or two weeks. You can only fill out that link the moment you have reserved your seat number because that's a required field. You have to check it in, but it will only take you like two minutes to fill that. And then you're good to go. So guys, let me jump in. <laughs> <laughs> so luckily guys you have not seen me how I tried walking here to the fall um, because it is so slippery like these stones like when you walk on them you just flip away and it's 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 crazy so this is something for people who are a bit adventurous I would say and also the water have you ever gone swimming or standing under or in a waterfall the water which comes hits you is quite hard <laughs> but i love it i love it Woo! so before we end this video i also want to talk about the current covid regulations in kenya because good news they all got lifted up they're not there anymore <laughs> so we do not have to wear masks anymore if you want feel free to do so in public, also in supermarkets, in whatever, wherever you go, even in restaurants, you don't have to wear masks anymore. And some, okay, in airplanes or at airports, they still do have this restriction, some of them. But especially internationally, of course, and also in the small ones. But this depends on the local airlines. And then also, we don't have a curfew anymore, so you can walk around freely, even at the night. There's basically no COVID restriction anymore. And also, I know because in Europe that's a lot if you go somewhere inside, like, I don't know, to the cinema, to the theater or wherever, you need to show your proof of vaccination or PCR test or something like that. We don't have this. So in Kenya, you can just walk around freely and um, there's no regulation ongoing currently. So guys, if you like this kind of videos, give it a like. <laughs> if you have any questions around traveling in Kenya, your safari, whatever you have, Feel free to reach out to me and yeah, today I'm here just next to Shimba Hills, Indiani and let's see where I'll be in my next video. <laughs>